Hello, we're looking at the low power view of an extremely cellular FNA aspirate from a salivary gland, uh, a parotid nodule. And uh, there are a lot of these complex appearing tissue fragments, some with branching architecture. Uh, again, we can appreciate the branching, somewhat branching architecture. Uh, we begin to kind of see that there may be small acina type arrangements of these lesional cells. And many of the cells exhibit uh, low NC ratios. Some tissue fragments appear to have this fine branching pattern of stroma, perhaps thin capillaries or a very uh, delicate fibrovascular stroma running through the backbone of these tissue fragments. Um, and the lesional cells are very closely and intimately associated with the stroma. We can appreciate that the cells have uh, quite low NC ratios at this high power view. Zooming in a little bit more, uh, we can see how eccentric many of the nuclei are and uh, the fact that they are quite round with smooth nuclear membranes, um, a hint of nucleoli in some of the cells. And we can also appreciate that the cytoplasm is abundant, very finely bubbly and in some areas more granular. So in summary, we have a very cellular aspirate showing a tumor composed of branching tissue fragments, some with a delicate fibrovascular core. The cells have a vague acinar arrangement and the nuclei are fairly uniform. They are very eccentric. There's low NC ratio with abundant, finely vacuolated to granular cytoplasm. Moving on to the alcohol fixed smears, we can see a similar pattern on low power, these branching tissue fragments. Note also that there are some bare, naked, round nuclei in the background. And um, as we move up and down, uh, we can also begin to see this beginning of this acina pattern. They're not very, very well defined rounded acina as you would see in normal salivary gland, but a little bit more irregular. We can appreciate the low NC ratios of most of the lesional cells. And on very high power, you can see again how round the nuclei are and that they are relatively uniform and show these uh, very small uh, but prominent nucleoli. Now here is normal salivary gland in comparison. What is striking is that the acinar structures are indeed very well formed. They are extremely round and very sharply outlined or demarcated. Another good clue is that you may sometimes see fibroadipose stroma associated with the uh, tissue fragment. This is not so clearly seen in this uh, particular field. At higher power view, we can see the cells are indeed extremely bland. Uh, very low NC ratios, actually quite similar to acinic cell carcinoma, uh, but in this instance, uh, the nuclei are smaller. And here is another very high power view, focusing up and down and showing you that um, similar kind of finely bubbly to granular cytoplasm that we will see in uh, normal salivary gland acinar cells. If we're lucky, we can sometimes uh, also see small honeycomb or tubular formations of ductal cells in the center of these little lobules. So to summarize, here is a cellular aspirate from an acinic cell carcinoma of the parotid gland. This is a fairly low-grade tumor in this instance. Uh, we can see that there are vague acinar formations, very um, regular appearing branching tissue fragments, extremely uniform cells. And on high power view, we can appreciate the eccentric round nuclei, the small nucleoli, and the abundant, finely vacuolated to granular cytoplasm.